Hi everybody, welcome to Tony's Brick House. Yeah, I know you don't see me in a lot of videos, but I'm going to talk about a couple of things. Been asked some questions lately, kind of surprised me. Uh, how do I afford all the Lego sets? Do I make money off YouTube? Why Lego? Things like that. So quickly, the first answer, do I make money off YouTube? No, I don't make a dime off of it, penny, anything. I'll explain that in a few minutes. So, how do I afford all the Lego sets? Well, I had a lot of sets. I started, I got back into Lego because of a gift card back in 2016. So, I started the Lego channel, Tony's Brick House, March 2017. So I had a few sets at that time anyway. Another quick thing is not all the reset not all the sets I review on this channel are necessarily mine. Some of them have been uh, belongs to uh, Amy at a girl being frugal. You're going to find a link down below. So to get into you know how I afford it First thing is, I got back into Legos because I had a gift card. I saw an advertisement for the Scooby-Doo sets, particularly the Mystery Machine. I got it, put it together. Scooby-Doo was a big part of my childhood. I love that. And that kind of got me started down the road. So, you know, you get gift cards. Or at least I do for birthdays, Christmas, things like that. Uh, another tip is I don't rush out and buy a set. For example, there is the new Lego Batman series that's out now. There's a space shuttle I really want. It was like 80 bucks when it came out. Now Amazon has it for like $63. I still want it. I'm not going to buy it yet. That's a little high in my opinion. So when a new set comes out, Usually within a few weeks to a month, you're going to start seeing it drop on places like Amazon. A lot of times Walmart's going to have similar prices. You know, so unless it's something I really want, I just don't. Second thing is I shop around. In my area, I have a couple of Walmarts, a couple of Kmarts. There's a Walgreens that has Lego. You know, there's a few different outlets, Amazon.com, ShopLego.com, I look at all of them. Holler has uh, Lego. So, anyway, when I go to a store, I look for clearance. Like when I go to Amazon, I look for markdowns. Amazon has a bunch of Lego markdowns every week. They change sometimes, sometimes the price goes back up, sometimes things are marked down and they stay marked down until they're sold out. So when I go to Walmart, I look for clearance. Now just because something isn't marked clearance doesn't mean you can't get a good deal on it. If I see a set that's been out for a long time and it's still sitting there, I'll grab it and scan it. I really lucked up on one the uh, other day, fun at the beach, I think it was. Scanned it, it was nine bucks. I grabbed two of them. You know, that was uh, way cheaper than what it had been just a week or so before. And that's the set I'd wanted. So, I hit the clearance areas, like I say. I know there's a couple of Walmarts around me. They regularly, I shouldn't say regularly, but a lot of times they'll have stuff on clearance. I look it over. If it's something I really want, I get it unless it's crazy cheap if it's not a set i want then uh, i mean if it's really crazy cheap uh, for instance you're going to see in another video i picked up some brick heads at walmart scanned them two dollars and fifty cents for some of them and i picked up a couple wasn't necessarily ones i wanted but i felt it was worth that for the pieces so always look for stuff like that it's going to sound crazy, but damaged items. I went to a Lego dot, I started to say Lego.com. I went to a Lego brand store, brick and mortar. Guy comes up, asks me, you know, can I help you? 
I said, well, it may sound crazy, but do you have any scratch and dents or, uh, you know, sort of speak or open boxes? And he's like, yeah, we do. So he takes me over to this section where they have a bunch of them. The boxes are cut open. Uh, people bought them, didn't want them, returned them. And they had a significant discount on them. So look for stuff like that. Another thing about damaged items, I've got one here, for instance, that you probably saw. I have wanted this one for a while. Really had. I saw this on clearance at Toys R Us. Big gaping hole in the box. The boxes seen better days. Don't care not keeping the box. I saw this thing on the shelf. I picked it up. I took it up to the service desk. I said, I really want this set. The box worries me. The guy's like, you know, I'll tell you what, I'll take another 10, 12% off of it. And he said, if you get this home and you start building it and you find out pieces are destroyed or missing, he says, you can bring it back. So I quickly looked this up on my cell phone. I found out how many bags are supposed to be in here. I bought this thing, took it to the vehicle, opened it up, counted the bags, looked at everything, stickers, it's all there. I got this set a hundred bucks cheaper than what they have it for on Amazon. And now that's after the clearance price and then the additional price that he took off for me because of the box. Who cares about the box? I mean, if it's an Ultimate Collector Series, yeah, I'm going to keep it. This, no, I can't wait to put it together. And I guess if I really looked, it showed me on the back the boxes that were, or the bags that were supposed to be in there. But that's a good thing to look for. Don't be afraid to ask. The worst thing that's going to happen is they might be a little snooty with you somewhere and tell you, no, the price is what the price is. All right, so thrift stores, consignment shops, Facebook yard sale. I found Legos at all these places before. I did kind of notice on the Facebook yard sale, one time there was a large lot of Legos posted for a uh, good price. I got there five minutes after the place opened and it was already gone. So people do search these out. You've got to be on your game to get them. Just plain and simply. Be there when the door opens. So, a lot of places have reward programs. Kmart has got shop your waypoints. You spend so much, you get points. You can trade it in uh, for like $5 off or whatever. I've bought Lego sets that way. I hate to say this. Uh, there is a Kmart that's going out of business near me. So I've been keeping an eye on their Lego section. They're honestly, they're still within a couple of bucks of Amazon right now. Even with them at uh, clearance price. But, uh, you know, you might as well take advantage of uh, situations like that because other people are. But back to uh, story or stores like Kmart, Shop Your Way Points, Toys R Us has points. Crazy enough, there's a Walgreens close to me that has Lego sets. So as I buy the normal stuff I need during the day, whatever, I'm earning points. You get so many points, you can cash it in. On more than one occasion, I've went in and cashed in $50 worth of points and bought Legos with it. That's how I got one of the, uh, I think it was the first Lego Batman set I had from just cashing in points at Walgreens. So remember those. They're, they're all called different things. Um, GameStop has Lego sometimes. They have a program. You have to uh, pay to get into the program, but still, if you buy a lot, then it works out pretty good. Now, shoplego.com, you have to watch them because they don't generally lower their price as much as like Walmart, Amazon does. But you get points when you shop there that can be traded in for cash toward items. Sometimes they'll have double point promotions. Sometimes they'll have free items. Spend so much, get a free set. So I definitely try to jump in on that. Another thing is uh, Brickmania. 
you're going to see me review Brickmania kits. And, you know, I'm not going to lie about it. Brickmania kits can be pretty expensive. I cannot afford the bigger kits. I wish I could, but I can't. They have an elite membership. It costs 50 bucks to join, but you get 10% off of every purchase. So, if you buy a lot throughout the year, and it lasts from January the 1st through December 31st, so if you buy a lot during that year, you will make your money back in no time. Plus, there's a specials tab on their webpage. That stuff that they have discounted, that's their clearance section. You know, sometimes you will find stuff deeply discounted. They also have store-wide sales that come up. When you order from Brickmania, a lot of the times there will be a catalog in there. The catalog is going to have a coupon or a couple coupons on it. So I actually lucked out a few weeks ago. There's a set I wanted. This set in particular. This was over a $300 set new. I mean, well, it is new. It was over it was something like $360. Somewhere around there. Couldn't afford it. No way. I could get it. And it's a it's a hefty set. Can't wait to build it. But this went on their clearance, their specials tab. It was um, down below two hundred bucks. Um, I can't remember the exact amount, but anyway, it was on their specials tab. They had a store wide sale going on, to where everything was like fifteen percent off. Plus, and this is the first time I'd ever seen them do this, they gave Elite members an extra 10% off. On top of that, I had a coupon where I had ordered in the past. So I got this well below half off. Now I can't remember the exact price I paid for it, so I really don't want to quote it, because I'd probably be telling you wrong, but... Uh, the highest Brick Mania kits, you know, I've ever bought has been right around $115, $120 range. So, think about that. A 300 and some dollar kit with all the discounts. Yeah, and, and it was one I wanted. And that's the reason I got it, because it was one I really wanted. Look for those sales. Right now, they've got a president sale going off. So they have a coupon code for 15% uh, off anything store-wide. Your uh, pro membership, not pro, your elite membership is going to stack on top of that. And if you get something like that, that's in the clearance, it's even better. Of course, right now, they don't have the extra 10%. Oh, I got free shipping on that as well. They were running out at the time. So... You know, there's ways to get deals. I use this sort of thing in everyday life. I look at clearance sections. I look for markdowns. I'm not afraid to ask, you know, hey, this is messed up, you know. Not only with Lego, you go to Lowe's. You know, you need a refrigerator. If you don't mind a dent in the side of it, a scrape, a scratch, ask them. Ask them if this is the best that they can do. Sometimes... If you get a manager, somebody high up enough, they'll work with you on whatever. So, another thing I forgot to say is, you know, I do save towards sets. Um, it's tax season right now. You know, I normally don't get back a whole lot at tax season, but I'm probably going to treat myself to a bigger Lego set when this comes out. So, give me an idea below. Uh, some of the things I'm thinking of is the uh, Haunted House from the old Monster Series, Monster Fighters. I've wanted that for a while. Uh, there's the Ghostbusters Headquarters. I've wanted that for a while. Um, there's the R2-D2, Ultimate Collector Series. I wanted that. So all these are roughly the same price point. So let me know what you guys think below if you would like to do that. Uh, eBay. I don't think I mentioned eBay. Definitely look on there. 
look for the best deal don't be afraid to make an offer you know I've had people send me kind of a rude email I'm not out to insult anybody but uh, when I look at an item that's being listed for we'll say a hundred bucks you can probably pretty well bet I'm gonna make around an $85 offer on it I feel that's a good starting point if they want to bump it up to 90 bucks you know because they can counter offer you know I get an idea about what I'm willing to pay and that's what I'm willing to pay so if there's item if I'm willing to pay 95 bucks on it I've offered them 85 you know we kinda bounce offers back and forth we get to the offer I'm interested in I'll accept it if I don't or if they're rudely like well I think the price is fair I'm like well why did you put best offer on there you know again you know sometimes people are going to ignore your offer I find that rude but look around on there don't don't be afraid to shop around for stuff alright so the next question to get into it a little bit deeper you know do I make any money off of YouTube no I don't what I have made off YouTube is I've made some friends which uh, surprisingly I was actually uh, recognized in public two times because of uh, YouTube what makes me feel good about it is when I hear my kids my nieces my nephews my grandkids love your channel they watch your videos regularly you know that's that rocks I mean it really does yeah I mean I would like to make some money off of it but I'm a long ways away from that and you're not going to hear me complain about it some YouTube channels you know I watch other people's work I see people on there that are always negative you know generally any set you see me show is I'm going to say something like and this is a set I've been wanting for a while I'm happy to have it because it's the truth that's I love the product I'll tell you if there's something I don't like about it but you know I'm not there to complain but when I started the channel anybody could pretty much monetize so I started the channel I did apply for monetization that's how you get paid on YouTube and I was immediately denied they said uh, lack of content which I understand I didn't have much stuff going so they said that I had to have 10,000 views before I could start making any money off of it. So working toward that, I'm 7,000 some views away from, I mean, I'm at 7,400 views, something like that. Then they bumped it up again. They decided you have to have 1,000 subscribers and you have to have 4,000 hours watched in a year period. So I'm light years away from that. That's the amount of time it takes for light to travel. Okay, anyway, I'm miles away from that. Um, you know, it is what it is. If people enjoy what I'm doing, then I'm happy to do it. You know, my dream would be to make uh, videos, but I'm happy when I get that message saying, hey, my kids appreciate it. I like your videos. So, I, I perfectly understand that an advertiser wants to get their video in front of people. So, like my Batman Series 1 uh, minifig video, I want to say I got like 20 views on it. Why would they want to advertise on that video when they can advertise on somebody's video that gets uh, 200,000 views? So, I mean, it does make sense. Also, on top of it, there's a, a couple of channels that I watch regularly. There's one guy who has a big channel. He normally gets twenty to 100,000 views per video. And he was saying in one of his that he just makes enough to uh, rent the space that he does the videos in and buy the sets. So, another person was saying that from a video that gets 100,000 views, they make they make roughly seven bucks off of it. Now I've had other people that say they get forty some bucks from a hundred thousand views. So 
I don't know how that works. Probably you're not going to have to worry about it for a long time. I do appreciate everybody that watches my videos, that subscribes, that comments, and I apologize this video is going long. I'm going to try to wrap it up. Um, as far as why Lego, I love Lego. You know, I really do. It's enjoyable. I got fairly sick a few years ago, and I'm not here to complain about things like that. But, uh, you know, I needed a hobby. I'm not able to uh, do a lot of things like I did when I was younger, you know, get out, run, whatever. So, you know, Lego is a good hobby. It keeps my mind sharp, something to work with with my hands. I had a uh, friend who had a stroke and was saying that they really worked themselves back starting out with putting Lego sets together and they would take them apart and put them back together and take them apart and put them back together and then they worked up to you know bigger more difficult things but you know why not Lego you know yeah they're for kids but <laughs> they make some fun sets and you know there's some things that I really like out there that look good I just recently put together the uh, ship in a bottle the idea set happy to have that one gonna show it soon I put together the uh, uh, the big rocket I'm drawing a blank right at the moment Saturn 5 I believe it was that was an idea set happy to have that one that is a massive massive set so you know, I wanted to share my love of uh, Lego, and I just, I love building stuff. You know, this is Tony's Brick House. You know, I may show uh, things that aren't Lego sets from time to time that I enjoy. It's going to still be in the building block family. However, you know, with Brick House, I may show you a Brick House one day. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry this has drug on a lot longer than I wanted to. I hope this answered some of your questions. If you have more questions, again, make sure you comment below. You know, tell your friends about the channel. Maybe we'll have a uh, bring a friend to Tony's Brick House Day. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting close to 200 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Never thought I would get that high. You know how YouTube goes. I gain a few, I lose a few. So, just the way it is. Uh, some of these days, you know, I would like to uh, have a play button on the wall behind me that says Tony's Brick House. But I think probably a hundred thousand subscribers is way off. But why not dream? So, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I do another video. And I hope everybody has a great day.